and this is Ted, my little bunny rabbit. He, Ted is my baby, basically. He's uh, my little furry friend. Um, and he's pampered. Ted's three, he's just had his birthday in June um, where he got lots of treats. Kids leaving home, university, things like that and I just wanted something to look after um, that wasn't necessarily a pet that you had to walk every day because I don't have time for that um, and he's just a perfect little pet for me. He's a house rabbit, he has his own space. Um, when we have small children round, they know not to go near that space because that's his, his way of escape if he doesn't want to be bothered with anybody. He's not closed in at all because he doesn't chew, so um, we tend to just let him roam free, although he won't go on the laminate, so he tends to stick to rugs and runners and jump from one thing to the other. He's awake most of the night, presume he sleeps most of the day um, um, and we just play with him and talk to him um, and treat him like a baby. When we first got him he was five months old um, and he did stop eating. Um, we found that it was he had a pointed tooth um, and every time he sort of they grind the front teeth together to eat the hay and every time he did that his tooth was digging in his gums so he didn't, um, didn't want to eat. When they don't eat, the digestive system just stops working so they can become really poorly very quickly. Took him down to LVC. They um, gave him an anaesthetic. Um, they made sure that they shaved all his teeth down so that they were all perfectly straight for him. Um, and now he's three. We've never had any trouble with him since. We do have him insured, a um, minimal amount a month. It doesn't cover his teeth, um, but it does cover anything else that might go wrong with him um, or any Ill illnesses that he might have. Um, but to be fair, it wasn't a great price to pay to have his dental work done. And it's only like us going to the dentist anyway, so, you know, that's fine. But yeah, that's, that's about all he's had, apart from being muted. Um, but that was more to stop him circling my daughter's legs. Um, we probably take him about every eight, ten weeks just for his claws to be clipped. Um, just with him being indoors, he doesn't wear his claws down. So it's just better for him to have them clipped. Less stressful if the, the veterinary nurse does it rather than me. Um, he just sits there and lets them do it. He also has a little bit of um, fur shaved off underneath just to make sure that we can keep him clean. Um, and that is obviously less stressful if the vets do that than me trying to do it with the trimmers. <laughs> they were recommended um, by a few people that I know have pets. Um, I also were told that they dealt with a lot of rabbits up at animal care. Um, so I just wanted a vet that knew about small breeds rather than just dogs and cats and, you know, that sort of uh, thing. So we decided to take him there. Plus they are very friendly, so, you know. They are a very caring practice, really. Um, I don't feel like I'm laughed at for pampering Ted. They're very good at what they do. I think the prices are great. They always seem to get him in if he has been poorly, because it is important to get a rabbit to the vet when they are poorly. They always seem to squeeze him in, and they're just really, really friendly, all of them, right from reception um, to the veterinary nurses too the vets themselves so I would recommend anybody to go to LVC.